Siren Chester Town were the latest visitors to the Simply Heath City Ground on Saturday afternoon in a crucial playoff clash. After a cagey opening half an hour, with both teams knowing the importance of a result, the home side managed to create a few of the better chances, and it was the home side who made the breakthrough, Oli Barmer slotting home after a scramble in the box. But the lead didn't last long, the visitors striking back just two minutes later, and one minute before half-time, to the frustration of the Winchester City fans. In the cold weather and fierce winds, enough to blow the camera over, it seemed like a game of coping with the condition, and Siren Chester coped better, taking the lead shortly into the second half, with Joshua Grace Parsons calmly slotting home to the delight of the travelling fans. And the away side were awarded a spot kick after the number 11 was brought down, but a poor penalty was dragged wide, keeping the home side within touching distance. But that didn't last for long, with a tidy Siren Chester move finished off to make the scoreline 3-1 to the away side. And it went from bad to worse for the citizens. Substitute Kieran Douglas was shown a straight red card after a high tackle. The frustration was showing for the home side. Yeah, it was a disappointing result. I think the conditions had a massive impact in the game. Um, first half we had the win with us. We didn't take full advantage of that. We've gone one nil up. We've had a, two other really good chances where we probably should have scored. Should have scored, no doubt about that. Players were trying to adapt. Uh, it was quite difficult, and actually, I thought Siren Sester came on top, um, certainly in the second half. Next up for Winchester City is a trip to Palton Rovers next Saturday. They'll be hoping to bounce back after the result today in a bid to finish in a playoff place. Cameron Cornell, Winchester News Online.